So let's give a sneak peek of a great pair that's been in the Fast 50 since November of 2022. And we're looking at two companies here, Dana Incorporated and Thor Industries. Now Dana makes uh, power conveyance and energy management solutions for all types of uh, vehicles and machinery throughout the world. And Thor Industries makes RVs and, and uh, elements for RVs also around the world, United States, Canada, and Europe. The fundamental snapshot side by side shows that these are both consumer cyclical companies. However, we're doing this uh, in related industry subsectors. So it's auto parts versus recreational vehicles. Their price ratio is a decent ratio. Uh, their betas are slightly, Dana's a bit, bit more risky according to the measurements that we get from Finviz. But what we can see is they're fundamentally pretty similar size companies. One's five billion enterprise value, the other six. Uh, EBITDA is about nine versus six, uh, EV to EBITDA. Um, price to book value is almost identical, 1.3 to 1.4. Dividend yields are very close, two versus two and a half, and Zacks is ranking them both at three, showing them to have similar earnings and momentum potential. So on that basis, we said these are, these are fundamentally correlated companies that are worth trading. If we look at the back test that causes us to, to select them in the first place, first off, what I'd like to highlight is this price ratio, and moving average of the price ratio and the price ratio. You see lots of zero crossings, very flat ratio for the last two and a half years. In the last three years, there were 11 trades. There were 63% uh, average correlation, highly co-integrated. The company annual growth rate of capital just left sitting in this pair was 22%. You never had more than a 10% drawdown and you generated 8,477 in gross profits. This is back test. However, these last two trades were actually live signals. Um, this pair has been in the, the fast 50 since uh, November, which was right about here. And 91% uh, were winners. Average days in trade were only nine. And um, the average net profit of trade was 731. So that's a wonderful looking back test. Great equity curve here. And that's what caused us to, to select it. Just quickly go to the pair charts here. And we can see, so these are the last two trades, which uh, if you'd been trading our fast 50, you would have been in. And those provided first trade about 384 and the next trade which just closed on the 12th of june 1135 a great trade what you can see this is the plus minus this is the percent for mean is that every time this pair's percent for mean gets to around two percent negative or positive uh, it looks like a good time to enter for a reversion to the mean and again uh, our fast 50 triggered 2.7 so we had these four triggers over the last year this is a one-year chart and there was one here that was almost two and a half 2.31 had you taken this one, it would have been a great trade as well, but it didn't trigger because we're at 2.7. Uh, but what you can see is there's just this consistent sort of, uh, call it support level, that every time, you know, there's about a 2% diversion from mean or 2.7 uh, standard deviations, you're looking at getting some very successful trades, trading that back to the mean. So uh, that's just a quick snapshot of these two companies. And uh, it's an example of what we look for and include in our Fast 50 U.S. equities pairs designed to give you high probability pair trading signals to study and trade straight out of the box when you subscribe to our service. Thank you for listening, everyone.